All right, guys, we got to find a target in Alabama and let's prank call him. I found a target. I see it. And you already found a target? Okay, let's let's call their number. Let's call their help number right there. Target, how can I help you? Hey, ma'am. How you doing? Good. How are you? Doing good. So I made an oopsie doopsie scoopsie earlier when I was in the Target and I feel really bad. Okay. I accidentally forgot to pay for one of the baggies. You know what I'm talking about when you check out and you edit a little selfie? Uh -huh. And I feel so bad. How do I make up for this? Uh, you could just come into the store to and just go to get services. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that right now. Thank you so much. And I appreciate that. Riz her up. Riz her up. Hey, you sound like a pretty young girl. Like, like <laughs> what? what? Why do you bubble that? Hang up, hang up. Hey, hey, I did not mean it like that. Dude, commas are important, dude. That was just one of the nine prank calls we have to complete. And if we can't complete the rest of them in under four hours, then we will have to go to a store that we prank called and admit that it was us. What the f***? I did not want to do that, brother. Next, we have to order Chinese food from five different restaurants at the same time. We're going to have to blur all this because we don't want you guys calling these people and making a ruckus. Like, genuinely, guys, just don't do that, okay? We're just going to we're gonna troll them a little. So here, I got Dragon right here and Express. Express. Hello, like Chinese food. Can I order takeout? Can you hold, please? Yep. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Now get the other guy. Now you're going to get the other guy. You know Hello? Hello, someone. Bye-bye. Hey, how are you? Can I order takeout? Sure, <laughs> old Jack. Uh, what's your favorite thing on the menu? I've never been. Uh, for the soup noodle, I recommend the grilling soup or the beef noodle soup. I now have Uh, another one's the drying noodle. <laughs> uh, the famous one is called Delphi, but we are out of it today, so I Hello? recommend the drying noodle. Hello? Hello? Yeah, what do you want to order? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Sorry. No! <laughs> add two back, add two back. Sorry, can you repeat it, please? I think my <laughs> Wi-Fi or my phone cellular fully went out. Uh, I said for the noodles, we got two different styles. One's the soup noodle. Uh, for that, I'll recommend the grilling soup okay, or the beef noodle soup. Hold on, please, a minute. Thank you. Hey, cool and dragon. Hello? Hello, are you still with me? Because I am like keep hearing somebody else from the phone. I'm here, sorry sir, can you repeat the menu again please? <laughs> no worries. Uh, cause I'm, I'm like hearing uh, a... Uh, yeah, like, mail mailbox is not mailbox. currently mailbox. accepting yeah. messages. Because voicemail has not yet been active. Oh, no. Okay. I'm dying, dude. Speak up, I can't hear you. Sorry, I can't, I can't really hear you because I'm like hearing another, another like phone call or something. Yeah, I can't, I can't please record your message when you finish <laughs> recording. That was insane. We did good. We we checked it off. All right, next we have to call pest control and tell them about our bug invasion. Wait, dude, I think I just found the fucking glitch. I'm not even gonna lie. Kane's doing the same thing. <laughs> I do it all the time. No way! I found a pest control randomly. How did I do that with a phone number? <laughs> Stop. Who the. F cares? Do they really care? Like how we found it? Really? Does it really matter? Try to get them as an accomplice. This is Pest Control. How can I help you? How's it going? So, here's the issue I'm uh, I'm running into at this very moment in time. So, we have... So, I have a neighbor, and I, I just don't like him very much. Now, hypothetically, I want to ask you if I were to hypothetically... Keep in mind, there's a hypothetical situation. I get 10,000 dung beetles, and I release them into his yard. What do you think about that? Okay, so I don't know. I mean, well, did you need some type of service? Yeah, do you recommend any other bugs for that? Because obviously... It'll get you more business. We're going to get you more business because he's going to call you guys, obviously. So I just want to know what you guys would prefer to clean up. Okay, so no, we wouldn't suggest that you just do that. I mean... Well, I kind of really want to. That's the thing. I get anxious just thinking about it. Yes, sir. So I guess if he has an issue, then he would give us a call. But yeah, we wouldn't advise you to do that that's the thing like i really want to though well we wouldn't suggest that you release anything anything Why? but there's no there's no fun in that <laughs> all right ten thousand dug beetles or a king cobra imported from africa <laughs> okay so this is what i'm thinking it's either going to be ten thousand dung beetles or it's going to be king cobra imported from africa 
Damn it. <laughs> Boy, wait, someone should call and say, my neighbor is about to fold up with a truck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. yeah. All, right, all right, all right, let me, let me go, let me go, let yeah, me go. But Your neighbor's been threatening it, and now you just see him pulling up with a truck. Pest control. How you doing? I'm good, how about you? Thank you so much. I'm doing, doing well. Here's the problem, though. I have a neighbor that's threatening to release 10,000 dung beetles into my yard. What do I do? Can you guys come here ASAP and, like, fix it before he does? Okay, no, sir. Are you playing on the phone? What do you mean playing on the phone? Because someone just called about releasing some bugs. The same type that, of was that, Is that him? Like, oh my gosh, do you guys deal with king cobras too? He just texted me. He's bringing a king cobra over next. Oh, goodness. What do I do? <laughs> what animal should I release onto his property? I'm thinking a great grizzly bear. <laughs> I don't know what you two are going through. I, don't, I went, we wouldn't suggest anything to release, though. So. If you could suggest, though. But if you could suggest, like, hypothetically, like, what would be the hardest pest to remove? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. I'm fairly new myself, so I know roaches are bad. Ooh, <laughs> Latoya, thank you so much, oh Latoya. I appreciate you. I'm going to get 10,000 roaches. I'm going to get that mother back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you funny, Latoya. Thank you so much. Okay, have a good one. Wait, Latoya, Latoya. Oh God, here it goes. Uh -huh. You sound, you sound pretty as hell. You, you single? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm married. Understandable. Oh. I'm not gonna home wreck that. Let me know when you want to, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Bro. Well, you have a good one. Thank you, Latoya. I'll be calling <laughs> you. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was so wow, that was awesome. so funny. <laughs> Next challenge, call a karate place and see if you can join their dojo because the neighbor's 11-year-old kid is a black belt and keeps kicking your ass every day. <laughs> You're also 43 years old. <laughs> Hold up. I see a jujutsu sign. Hold up. Does that count? Ju wait, wait. I love jujutsu. Here we go. I found a number. I found a number. Jujutsu. Martial arts. Wait, they do martial arts. Nice. That's a cat. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. So this is self-defense, right? Yes. Okay, so here's the problem. I'm a 26-year-old man, right? And I'm calling because I'm looking for lessons because my neighborhood, like the neighborhood bullies, they're about like 11 years old, but there's like four of them and they always beat me up. I was wondering if you guys had lessons on that. I mean, you could just sign up for private lessons. That could work. They, they make it so I have to lick white dog shit when I walk home from work. Can I defend myself legally from 11-year-olds? Like... <laughs> I mean, with legal action, you technically can't put your hands on them. Okay. Otherwise, it's assault and battery on you. Okay. But, like, hypothetically, if we could get away with it because they bully me? I would say yes and no. <laughs> Where, where's the no coming from? The no is coming from because you're an adult and they're minors. <laughs> say who she would bet on. Like, say you're, like, stats, like, your height and weight. Like, who would you bet on? Like, me? Like, I'm, like, 180 or 170 pounds. 61 and then they're like they're like 311 i guess it would depend on the situation but <laughs> so you ain't betting on me what if i had a black belt though what if i had a black belt i would bet on you if you just throw the kids into each other Ooh, is that what we should do <laughs> should we do that for legal purposes i'm not saying do anything what's your name cat i'm gonna say cat got me like when i when they like cops get me i'm gonna say cat told me to oh god please do not <laughs> no, no, I'm not <laughs> cat you sound pretty no <laughs> thank you can i get your instagram here we go Sure, but just to let you know, I don't swing that way. Oh, oh, Damn. oh, oh, hey, I'm it lesbian too. Works, though. Hey, she, she <laughs> said she's a lesbian fine, baby, dude. me too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let me get that IG. Okay, it's... Thank you so much, Kat. Appreciate it. Tell her to look out for the no live. Problem. Hey, look out for the live. I'm going to be recording this. I'm going to record, uh, hopefully trashing on those 11-year-olds. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm just kidding, Kat. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Have a good one. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> Did you just two in one? Did I just two in one? <laughs> hey, hey, I said that she was pretty, and then I asked for the IG, and then she's like, hey, I don't swing that way, but I'll give it to you. Like, come on, that's, that's gotta true. be Riz. She could, she could have switched sides. Riz, someone from a local business is one of the other ones we have to do. That's checked off. Yes! Same with Call Karate Place. Good shit, McCain. Next one. Call a garbage truck company and say somebody locked you in one of their garbage cans. Okay, everybody go search the streets of New York for a garbage truck. New York people do not play either. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm stocking the trash can. Why have I not seen one? Am I blind? Okay, there's a big trash bin here and people are just hanging out in it 
Oh, it's not a trash bin. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I found a dumpster with a phone number. I found a dumpster with a phone number. Sizzle. Okay, so what's my goal here? Yeah, listen, you're trapped in one of those dumpsters. Somebody shut it. Yeah, but I don't want them to, like, call the f cops and shit. Like, please don't call the cops, though. I'm a fr I'm a felon. That gives them a, more of a reason to call the cops. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> wait, Whoa. Customer service, how may I help? Um... So this is not an emergency, but I am a homeowner looking for a little help. Mm -hmm. Homeowner is a, a thin line here because I'm homeless and I normally sleep in your guys' trash bins. <laughs> and someone closed it on me while I was sleeping. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm stuck in the trash <laughs> bin because I, I sleep in the same one every night and someone must have thought it was funny to close it on. But listen to how tight this lid is. Where are you located? Where am I located? I'm in New York and I need assistance, but it's not an emergency. I got a full stomach. I went through the Krispy Kreme trash bin last night and I got <laughs> stuffed. So I'm not that hungry, we're good. Where is this trash container located? I don't know, somewhere in New York. New York. <laughs> I know New York, but I, I have to send someone saying New York. to try to help you and you need to give me an address. Look through the crack and start describing like normal New York things. Hold on, hold on. I can see through the crack. There's a little crack with some light coming through. That's the only way I could even find my phone and everything. It's gray. It's all paved. There's a big gray building. Cement. There's lots of cement. Lots of cement. There's a yellow cab. There's a yellow cab. <laughs> There's some people walking. I need some kind of a sh I need some kind of a street. There's a second yellow cab. I just saw a second one back. Oh, 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 oh. There's another yellow cab going by right now. Unfortunately, without some kind of an address, I can't help you, sir. This guy's so nice, dude. You just figured it out. There's a latch. Wait, 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 wait. I found a latch. I found a latch. Sir, thank you so much. I'm climbing out right now as we speak. Thank you so much, sir. All right, bye. You have a good one. <laughs> wow, what a nice guy. Good job, Joe. Next one. Call a bail bond company and ask them to bail you out for something terrible you did. Check DMs. Bail bond. Thank you for calling our local bail bond office. We're not available to return your call right this second. Wow, what if you just got arrested? Call his other number. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? This is a bail bonds, right? Yes, this is bail bonds. Oh, thank God. Okay, so I did a little oopsie whoopsie, and now I need a little bailey whaley. So what happened? My grandma wrote me out of the will, which is really messed up considering I'm her best grandson. <laughs> um, and she was recently put in a wheelchair, which is a bit unlucky for her. And I took the initiative to take her out to the park. And it was a park with a very big staircase. And I did a little oopsie whoopsie by accident and pushed her down the huge staircase, like a hundred oh plus stairs. Like this was like some big park. Oh let her talk, let her respond. God. And I got caught, frankly. It was on a security camera. Okay. Um, let me see if I can pull up the information for you. What's your first and last name? Harold. And your last name? Oh, dude. No! <laughs> no! What the f that's my uncle's name. That's my uncle's name. What? My, my, uh, my uncle's name is Harold. Do not fucking say that. Stop, guys. I can't stop laughing. I'm dying. Shout out, Uncle Harold. We got two prank calls left. 45 minutes to complete them. Call an office space for sale and ask if you can put your sweatshop in there. Now, Dude. if you go to New York City, office space is everywhere. Or I'm on a f bus. Who's this? Retail restaurant for rent. Sorry, Berserk said he has a number? Yeah, look at my screen. Go for it. You're going to say, I, I'm looking for somewhere where I can store 32 sewing machines and 32 <laughs> children and have them work all day. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Who's calling? Uh, my name's Harold. I was walking down the street and I saw that this space was for sale. Yeah, there's a building for sale. Uh, how much How much space is that? You're talking about um, 271 in Soho. Exactly. That's what you saw? Exactly. It would be like equivalent of like 13. Are you talking about an office? Yeah, perfect. Hypothetically, in this space, do you think I could fit about 30 to 35 sewing machines that would be accompanied by 30 to 35 <laughs> children as well? Children? <laughs> like for classes? Uh, Dude, sort of like, love. <laughs> they're, they, they'll be working. I'm trying to make my own Nike. I'm trying to make the next Nike here, and you know, it's <laughs> cheap labor. <laughs> wow. It's funny. Um, if you're serious about children, I, and you're asking me, can they fit there? Sure. Okay, awesome. Dude, <laughs> he's about it, bro. He's about to hustle. What's your company name? Bikey. My company name is Bikey. 
by the way, in case you ever hear about it. <laughs> okay. He's filing a police report. <laughs> I got to I got to go. All right, Harold. Good luck to you. Oh wait, I'm Harold. All right, Steve. <laughs> Wow. Dude, you're an idiot. We have one challenge left, 30 minutes to complete this. The final challenge, get a local business employee to call you daddy. Come on. <laughs> we can do this. Got one, got one, got a not, El Pollo Loco now hiring sign. El Pollo Loco. Hey, how you doing? Good, man, thank you. Hey, so I was just in there, I, I put my name down as daddy. Do you have, do you have a, do you have an order for that? Daddy? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that sick? Yeah. <laughs> Guys! Wait, Sizzle's deafened. Sizzle's deafened talking to somebody. My name is Oil Daddy, and I'm looking to purchase a large amount of body oil on wholesale. Got it. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, what was your name? My name is Len. What what type of body oils do you have? In terms of the body oils, um... <laughs> Um, what about scented candles? Oil Daddy's looking to expand. I might become Candle Daddy as well. We carry this scent only. Okay, um, if I were to switch over to candles, do you think I should go by Oil Daddy or Candle Daddy? Um, Candle Daddy could be limited. Done. Maybe Boom, that's you two. can figure out a more... Sorry, Carla, sorry, what did you say? What? What's my name? You said Candle Daddy, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> You're asking which one. Len, I'm going to keep shopping around. Thank you so much. Oil All Daddy right. out. You have a good All one. Right. All right. Guys, we realized that the final challenge of this video was mad easy, mad boring. It should have been a first challenge. Blame Mel. He made the video. He made the structure. All that. Blame him. So sorry. Get in the corner! Sit in the goddamn corner! I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Sorry, guys. Reminder, go to familyfriendlyfans.com. Put your email in. If you put it in, we'll email you first. We'll make sure that you guys know when the drop is live so you don't miss that exclusive item. Merch will be coming soon. All right, no, you're okay. You're okay. But you're, you're still going to get 42 slaps later. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys. Say goodbye. Bye-bye, guys. Be Say it nicer. Say it nice. Say it better. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching another Family Friendly Friday. Good, good. All right.